I've got another house here. We're doing an inspection. Uh, looking through the remnants of junk. Uh, I looked in a box here. Two old turntable boxes. No turntables, but 510. So I got the manuals out of there. And Bosher and Manual, which is probably pretty collectible. We start walking through the house. The typical 60s style house. Here's just manuals. Little turntable. Right here. So if you like these uh, dual turntables and you're a collector, the dual is actually one of the higher end ones for its time. Whole brochure, it's awesome. So we're doing an inspection uh, for asbestos. So we're looking, uh, we found this in one of the shelves. This is going to be asbestos up for sure. Final floor. Uh, the material's not dangerous, just like sitting here. But if, if you're scraping, say that's glued to a surface, and if you're scraping it, that's dangerous. This is anywhere from 50 to 60% asbestos, possibly, in the vinyl. And you can see it's uh, got gold, gold flakes and specks in it. Okay, let's walk into living room area. Nice built-in cabinets, quite nice. Little office area. Fireplace. There is some updates here that looks makes it a little newer. Had a real nice sunroom. They closed it all in here. It was probably beautiful at one time, especially in the spring, cold spring days. Lots of windows. Look at all the windows they put in there. And those windows are probably still in good shape. Okay, we're gonna cruise around. We got the front entrance area. This goes to the basement, I'll show you later. This is the old heating system, pretty cool heating system. Probably from the 60s, they used that to heat the washroom up. They turned it on. Might work, might not, who knows. Oh yeah, she's working, it's getting hot. It's cool. So here's the washroom. These are the old, old ceramic tiles you see in the 60s. They actually, it's like a cement layer on top of here and they put the tiles around it. Vintage 60s, same flooring, I said, uh, will be asbestos. The upgrade to the toilet, the old bathtub. Kind of a nice, clean kind of house, probably old people lived here, everything's well kept. Closet there. Walk into the bedroom here. I guess that's the master bedroom, the most biggest one. Closets. Okay, we're gonna walk downstairs now. That's the upstairs. Here's the big family room downstairs, called, I call it usually rec room. Huge room, probably about 15 by 30 at least, maybe even longer. Uh, nice new fireplace again, nice old stone fireplace, so must have built that. Quite nice. Just a nice, I'll show you the backyard. Back here it's quite nice too. Probably had a nice garden over here at one time. Garden there. Shed there. That's your backyard. Bunch of junk left behind. Nothing that great, I looked at it. Some old wheels, some rally rims. Okay, we'll start walking. Let's check uh, under the stairs here, the cold storage room. There's some older uh, stuff here. They have to put the wine, all the wine things here. Oh, well, it looks like, is that a calendar? No. Just all the junk. These are old bottles here. Five for the 60s. Okay, let's uh, wander down. 
Here's the washroom downstairs. Someone upgraded it. A little newer toilet. Nothing there. Back bedroom. This is a pretty basic room. Plain. Okay, this is the interesting room here. I remember seeing these on my dad's. So he had a 63 Ford. These are the running board covers on the, where you're, where you're uh, passing your door and driver's doors just on the running board side. I've seen that on my dad's car before. This is the basic stuff. Sony, some speakers, AWA, mix match stuff. Jack oil, hydraulic jack oil. Here's a big Canadian club here. That's a big one. 80, 86.8 US proof. That's a big one for sure. Bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Bug sprays and cleaners. I seen this cool bottle here, but I don't want to take it. it acid, hydrochloric acid. Oh, it's just muratic. Oh, it's muratic acid actually, but a cool looking bottle. Cave and Company. Get you a little closer out there. Oh, it's out of Vancouver. That's cool. Hydrochloric. So, some Radicast is not too bad. I thought it was something worse than that. Okay. I went into the cupboard here. I found uh, a couple Texaco cans already and a couple things I'll show you later. Um, in here. I like, you find old oil cans and so on in these type of cupboards. Here's a roof seal from Woodward's. It's a semi-plastic Woodward's. Okay, let's keep moving here. Bunch of junk hanging. Oh, here's uh, advertising. Oh, there's a couple there, actually. See, I'm just starting to explore more. Canadian National Systems. So that's um, Canadian National Railway. There it is. Canadian National System. So another one up here. What does this one say? Pioneer Laundry, Vancouver, BC, dry cleaners. That's a really collectible one too. You get lucky sometimes and you find the odd one that has advertising. Out of maybe a hundred you find, you might find one or two with advertising. Okay, it's two there. And here's uh, stretchers, uh, nylon stretchers, it's a whole, whole whack here, I guess the guy had, the, you see they hung them up, see how they hung them up, so that's kind of cool, that's old, ok let's start wandering to the other side, which is another interesting area, whoops, I'm going to go this way here, this is a cool area here, an old storage area, this is awesome here. We found a bunch of shelves. All these shelves were stuck together, but the, these are what the shelf is made out of. Old butter. Canadian butter, Saskatchewan. Awesome. These are awesome. I haven't seen these for years. They're hard to find. They used to be common years ago, but just it's getting tougher and tougher to find. So there's a, I think there's um, 12, there's 12, 14, I believe here. That's an awesome score. Bunch of uh, hardware, nuts, bolts, nails. Look at these, you don't even find these nails no more. How big that nail is. We call a nail. And there's all kinds of jars of just neat little things, gadgets and tools. Okay, he must have been a handyman here. Right, look over here. Light bulbs, lots of light bulbs, and here's a couple, a car radio. I think I better look at this thing here. Old car radio. Really old. Yeah, this is push buttons. There's a pencil sharpener. Boston. Another car radio. This one says 
Go upside down. Okay. RCA Victor Company, model A754. Deluxe radio. Imagine having that old school radio. Here's I found one like this already. Herbert the Goober Peanut of Fame. McCall's peanut butter. Peanut butter jar. Some junk inside of it. Sometimes it's just neat little things here. Here's a Wall, uh, wiper blades, you want to make, um, Paul, I guess you want to intermittent wiper blades, it looks like. Yeah, delays. Three for ten, who knows what it say. Ten, over ten dollars for this thing. Intermittent wipers, today they're all, all standard now. Ignition heater. Some pretty cool stuff, a lot of light bulbs. Oh, wow, load. it looks... Could be doing all that at all. Light fixture, more light bulbs. Yeah, it's an old projector. It says here, photographic projector. Let's see if I can see what it looks like. Well, it's a carousel type, brand new, brand new projector. Look at that. Brand new. Here's some more light bulbs. What's in there? Yeah, yeah, I like light bulbs. Here's something else. Splash guards. Good for your 4x4. Woodward's 239. Let's see what else is there. Got a couple here for Chevy. Brackets. A lot of fittings. This is cool, too bad it's all taken apart. It's an old light. It's an old light. It appears to be mostly here. Must be like a. I don't know if it's a CPR or not. Something like CPR. But, anyways, uh. The best deal here is those uh, butter boxes. I can also check these, they're dovetailed here. They could have advertising on one side, possibly, I don't know. But you can see the dovetailed, these butter boxes too. They used to be from Alberta, a lot of them too. These are Saskatchewan, but it'd be nice to see some Alberta, Alberta ones here. Anyways, this is uh, this house here. I want to show you some of the cool little things here. You get old timers that leave stuff behind and you know, now today it's kind of cool stuff, right? Anyways, uh, let's see what else we find. We got uh, some more adventures today. We'll show you uh, more. Little fixtures here. Here's a, a saw brass type thing. Just all kinds of stuff. Here's another flavored buds, pure coffee. A little bit of everything here. Okay, have a great day. Thanks. Yeah, I found a really cool cap gun here. It's got the Marvel caps, uh, Kilgore performance caps. Cool looking cap gun, pirate. Really nice shape. All you do is you cock it back. Let's see. Oh, this is got a safety. Let me just um, cock it back for a second. There it is. It pulls back like this. You go like that. So awesome looking cap gun. I'm super happy about that. It was in a jar with a bunch of junk. And you know, like you say, you gotta look at all these little jars and containers. You got a couple marbles. Not not old, but a couple marbles there. Cat size. A couple of dice. But just gonna love it. Gotta love it. Stay tuned. Yeah, I just want to share. I did found a really good score today at the host demo that I was doing. I got all these butter uh, crates. Canadian butter, Saskatchewan. They're 54 pound weight. They're dated 
10 months 11 is it 1911 not sure dovetail corners also got a BA light dirt it's a cleaning solution a Texaco solvent household cleaner from Texaco gunk dot 3 brake fluid torn oil removal for pressed stone taking a really nice little uh, jar lid peanut butter old jar probably for the 40s 50s did get a radio antenna uh, with the insulators say so they say made in Japan right there got some locks brand new hardware there's a drill assortment where you, uh, you hook it up to um, maybe an external drill sideways and you can do a uh, different type of drilling on angles a deluxe car stereo RCA Victor wiper delay somewhat outdated but you never know I finally put that together it's missing some screws but it looks like a lantern could be railway or city uh, had a, probably a battery inside there's that uh, really cool pirate flintlock cap gun with some caps with it some uh, splash guards here's some uh, running board um, uh, aluminum trim I know my dad had his a 1963 Ford, same looking running boards. A nylon or sock stretchers. Another nice jar. There's a muratic acid. I, went, I looked inside, it was actually water inside it, so I dumped it out. It wasn't even acid, so that was good. It says uh, Cave and Company, Vancouver. There's my uh, rest of my crates. I got uh, 14 crates in total in really good shape. Here's a no step you put on top of your ladder. It gives you uh, adjustments where you can put a hammer in there and screwdrivers and everything. I showed you this earlier. Dual turntable brochure guide. Some tie downs. I got a chimney sweeping thing. It's actually brand in the box. More light bulbs. More light bulbs there. Cool looking brass thing, very heavy. I thought it was a bell, but some sort of light. Here's some car polish, a turtle wax, and then um, CLR, super clean, raid. Uh, there's a 12 volt light. If you work in your car, you hook it to your battery, you got lights. More uh, sliding door locks. Some plumbing hardware for different things for toilet bowls. And I was just going to show you, my buddy was showing me. We have one that's co op, it's the only different one. Rest are identical, so co op one is kind of rare. In this batch but they're all in pretty good shape very happy with that here's pioneer laundry vancouver bc dry cleaning canadian national system that's canadian national railway they changed the name later probably for the 40s some hose attachments some hose uh, filters for tap filters thermometer low uh, radiator hose engine heater some um, other kind of fixtures here for hoses, drain fixtures, drain caps, paint cans, paint uh, brushes. You can paint with those. This brand new light bulb was in the box. I took it out. Sudsy ammonia, which is good for cleaning copper coins and so on, and all your dirt off your things. So that's that's my find. Like I say. Very lucky today, got a lot of cool treasures, very happy about that. Uh, sometimes you go out there and find nothing and when you get a house like this, uh, it really makes your day worthwhile. It makes your job actually last longer to be honest. But very good assortment, very happy. So that's all from a demo. So you never know where the next house leads you to. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, share. Have a great day. Thumbs up if you like it. All the best. Canadian Treasure Hunter out. Thanks for watching.